views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. Get ready to be transformed from Dr. Jen's live guidance healing meditations and intuitive readings and unveil the power of connecting to spirit, the angels, and your higher self. Dr. Jen is passionate about helping you find the answers you're looking for through an inward journey that'll strengthen your connection to spirit and help you trust your intuition. Now, here's your host, Dr. Jen Royster. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. I'm Dr. Jen. And if you're new to the show, we want to give you a big welcome. We're all about the metaphysical approach about energy healing, about connecting with the angelic realm, our higher self, and just growing and ascending in our spiritual journey. So that's what we focus on here. And today is the day for the month of the angel messages for February of 2017. So we do this every month. At the beginning of each month, we'll go through that month and what guidance they give us with the energies that we are living in the moment, so to speak. So we just got through January, and wow, okay, we're talking about everything moving faster, things changing very fast, a lot of adjusting to do, a lot of questioning that's happening in our lives, and it's on, it's across the board, it's in everything. And we want to focus on what the February energy has. I mean, January happened, okay? When Wherever you might be, and this is what I want to ask you because I know that this is happening for some of you. You might be questioning the way you always did things or what used to work isn't working anymore or I don't know, some, I'm just not as excited about those things anymore and I just feel that I need to shift, I need to move, but I'm not quite sure what it is. I know that that's very common out there right now. I've even experienced some of it, too. I think everybody does at different parts of where they are in their journey. When we hit big, pivotal turning points in life, that's natural to kind of go into that analyzing, figuring it out, what's the next step. Here's what's different with 2017 on a metaphysical energy perspective. Okay. That's what I'm giving you. And I see the world this way. I see everything that I do, everything that I experience. Uh, The more that I look at things with this perspective, the better it is for me personally. So I'm sharing what I know and what I experience, and that's up to you what's right for you. That's the big question of the day, of the day, of the year, probably of the last several years, what's right for me? You know, you're asking yourself that. What is, what is, what is the best approach for me? Big question, right? It's not going to be outside of yourself. Nope. And no matter how hard we look, we're looking for somebody to tell us what to do. Everything happening that we've been through in the last month is even bringing that up more so, like, okay, I don't know how I feel about things anymore. I don't know if I'm upset or if I'm okay, or maybe we're very upset, or maybe we're very okay. I mean, you're going to go all over the place with this one because it's so brand new, it's so different, and nobody outside of you can tell you what's right for you. Nobody wants to hear that. I know that. I'm sure you don't want to hear that, but I'm going to be giving it to you straight. I'm not going to play around with that. It's the truth. When we do angel guidance, that's even changed because they used to give us a little bit more, to be honest. But now they're prompting us 
to meet them halfway, at least halfway. They're not coming. You know, they want us to reach out more. We, they want us to know we can do that. And I'm seeing that with some of the guidance that comes through. What is February all about? February is all about the love, right? It's all about the love, but not just romantic love. But that is in the that is in the mix. Believe it or not, it just happened to time in February when there's Valentine's Day. And that that doesn't always happen with the energies, but it did this time. Yeah. But the love. Where is it in your life? Is it lacking? And it's not just romantic, guys. It's about the love you have for yourself. Do you have self-respect enough to make choices for you? Are you still making choices out of fear? Are you moving forward with what's right for you? Are you afraid to change because it's so unknown and scary? That's a lot of what a lot of people are feeling right now. Um, changes, changes change, you know, it's not going to be the same. Um, sometimes it has to just be a big mess for you to get it organized. I think we're all feeling that a little bit individually, and we're also feeling it as a group, as the big a group as you want to get, you know, to your smaller inner groups, to your bigger groups, to just the way life is for you right now. Um, I want you to know that you can take a step back from the drama. You can take a step back. You can give yourself some reprieve and break from all of that. So you can clear your head. That would be a love act to give to yourself for one. Absolutely. Um, one of the biggest things that the angels brought through for me to share with you today was they want you to think about your traditional everything. They want you to take a little bit of a look at the traditions, what you always did, does it feel right to keep doing it? Do you need a new one? Do you need to get rid of that one? They brought that up um, this morning, and I thought, whoa, okay, yeah. What is a, what's going on with your traditional things that you do in certain situations, whether it's the relationship, this time of year? Are you one of those that, you know, has to celebrate the holiday on the holiday, on the calendar day? You know, some of us can't do that. Some of us can, some of us can't. But what if you couldn't? What if the actual energy of something to celebrate is different from what the calendar says? Have you ever thought about that? A lot of people that live in job or, or work in jobs where they can't be home for something like that, they feel that. They know what I'm talking about. But is everything ruined because you couldn't do it right on that moment in that day? Are you that type? If it didn't happen a certain way in a certain order with a relationship, how do you feel about that? Wait, no, he didn't He didn't bring me the flowers or she didn't bring me the flowers or it didn't happen in a certain way the way you expected it to happen in your mind or the way it says in the storybooks. Does that ruin it all for you? Is that really love? Or is that just playing out a tradition that you think it should be that way? I know. I mean, these are these are things that uh, Michael, Archangel Michael, brought it up this morning. He said that he said, ask them about the traditions in their life. Which ones are working? Which ones are frustrating them? And if you look at a tradition, is it upsetting you more than it's bringing you joy? There you go. There's your answer. If you're, if joy, your happiness, your peace, obviously the good feel vibes, right, are there with that tradition, then go for it. It's not like it's right or wrong to do the tradition. But what if it's not bringing you that? What if it's bringing you heartache and disappointment because it didn't play out the way you think it should or the way it always was? That's the point. That's the point that Michael brought up this morning. And I was even reviewing that with my own things, you know, like, oh, well, we always did it this way or that way. And it's like, you know, he's got a point. He's got a point. So I thought, okay, yeah, let's, um, let's think about it. Let's think about how we could do it different, you know. And tradition is a big one right now that is being challenged with all the new energy. 
love energy and fifth dimensional living. I want to call it the fifth dimensional lifestyle. And you'll hear me talk about that a lot because that's what I'm choosing. I'm choosing that and just getting used to a different frequency and a different experience in life. You know, you have to just, oh, that's right. I forgot to try the new way. Oh, you know, don't, if you have to make it a game and lighthearted, then do that. Um, something that will bring a smile to your face and make you laugh about the situation versus, oh, there it is happening to me again, you know, that kind of thing. That's what you want to look at because you have the opportunity to ascend very quickly right now and change the game plan. What's wrong with the surprise and unexpected being something wonderful, right? And and whether it's a relationship, uh, you're looking for a romantic, personal love relationship, or maybe it's just working on not berating yourself, like being worthy, believing that you are, loving your job, loving your life experience. And it doesn't mean you have to have a lot of stuff, right? Think about your traditions because we're working with the angel guidance for February of 2017. If you want to call in or have a question, want to see if the angels have anything for you, please do call in 1-800-930-2819. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to keep going on with angel guidance for February of 2017. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to the Jen Royster Show. We'll be right back after the break. Hi, this is Leslie Fontaine, and my show is Sheer Alchemy on TransformationTalkRadio.com. When we're bogged down with our emotions, the hardships that plague us in our relationships, at work, our finances, we literally can't see the higher plane where we could be operating from. Tune in to Leslie Fontaine, Sheer Alchemy, on Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Tune in to the Angels and Answers Psychic Radio Show with Clairvoyance Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel every Thursday for a two-hour show, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio. Artie and Sky deliver spiritual and motivational messages with passion and a sense of humor. Call in 800-930-2819 for live and on-air readings. Visit ArtieHoffman.com and SkyOfAngels.com. Are you ready for a game changer? Sarah Westall is bringing you Business Game Changers Radio. Sarah brings you leading experts, visionaries, and newsmakers who provide the best commentary on big issues and cutting-edge innovations. Sarah's 20 years as a business executive will help you think like an entrepreneur with expertise, energy, and attitude. Tune in to Business Game Changers Mondays at noon Pacific, 3 Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. We're back from our break. If you are new to the show or just tuning in, welcome. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to the Jen Royster Show. You might be watching our video live stream. If you want to check it out, you can go to jenroyster.com, J-E-N-N-R-O-Y-S-T-E-R.com. Our topic today is about angel guidance for February of 2017. So I want to start diving into what I've received on that. 
First of all, let's talk about creative energy juices flowing. Ooh. Yeah. Some of you might think you're not creative at all. Actually, you might find that you can be very creative when you're in a situation where you need to figure it out a different way because it's not working anymore. Don't look at the challenge as something wrong and happening to you. We could call that victim mode if you want, but a lot of practicing not being the victim or things happening to you is going to be part of this year's focus in helping you ascend to a higher frequency, getting you closer to that fifth dimension lifestyle that's going to be a lot better than what we're experiencing in third. Third is all about the drama and the problems and the separation, okay? Fifth dimension, just to remind you quickly, it's more of a unified front. There is no, there is no separateness. You know, that's really the way to say it, point blank. So when we bring it down to the creative part, what in your life, and we talked about tradition earlier, like maybe the traditions aren't working so much anymore. Well, what in your life is challenging you or making you feel like it's happening to you or negatively against you? Okay, the love energy will come in unconditional and push creative juices this month to show you, oh, wow, I can think out of the box. I didn't realize I could. Ooh, there might be a better way to do this after all. Maybe I'm expecting, maybe I need to, or let me rephrase that. Maybe I need to be more flexible about what I'm expecting in a relationship or situation and how could I enjoy what I'm doing right now, even if I don't think that I love any of it? Love is a big deal here. The love energy is just going to keep going. It's going to keep getting stronger. It's going to keep flowing in. And I personally am welcoming this energy. I'm welcoming change. I'm welcoming what could I do differently in my own life? What could I do better how could I deliver a message to you better? I'm always looking for a better way to do that. I'm looking for what I'm experiencing and sharing it with you because it's so brand new. Remember, we're in a brand new year of a brand new cycle. It's the number one in the, the beginning year of a nine-year cycle. We just started that this year. So this is the best year to start something new, to change directions, to go for it with something that you always wanted, which is another one of the messages they were bringing in was this is a better time than not, you know, to go for it. What have you always wanted to do with your life? How do you see yourself? I'm asking a lot of questions for you to ask yourself because the answers are not what I'm going to tell you how to think. They're going to come from your responses to when I'm saying these questions out loud Ask yourself those questions. How are you answering that? Or how does that make you feel? You know, how do you feel? Do you feel irritated? Like, oh, that never works for me? Bingo. There you go. There's a spot to start working on right there. And it's not even about trying to fix it. Yeah, I know. I know. We have made it so complicated that we trip over ourselves. There's actually nothing to fix. Because you're fantastic the way you are, you probably just don't see it. Well, how could my life be great? I've got all this and this and this going on. I know, I hear you. I think everybody's hearing everybody out there right now, right? How do you see yourself? If you are seeing a very negative picture, it's rejection of love. If we want to talk about energy, that's rejecting love coming into you. Yeah, let's talk about it. And you're like, I don't want to reject love. I want love. That's what I'm complaining about. Okay, complaining. There you go. Another negative word with negative energy. And I say it that way because I'm trying to get your attention and get your perspective in a different place so you can lift it up and out. So how can I change this then? Okay, Jen, I hear what you're saying. That sounds great. But for years I've been trying to do this. I do want to say the last several years have been challenging because we were ending a cycle. It was bringing so much up that had to be resolved and had to be healed and had to be released. And some of you might still be feeling some of that 
coming up and leaving. You might be feeling it physically. You might be feeling it emotionally or mentally. Those are, it's, it's coughing up. I call it the coughing up phase. It coughs up so you can see what it is so you can go, oh, there it is. Okay, I am doing that. I can get rid of that. If, if you were to change one thing in your whole life, what about if you could change the way you saw yourself? What if you could change? And, and you know, this is a hard one. People say, I don't want to be angry, but I am, and I can't figure out how to get rid of it. Unconditional love can do that if you let it in. And, yes, it'll be a little weird at the beginning because you're like, yeah, it feels kind of weird to just look at things differently or even try because it just, you know, don't be afraid to open your heart. This year, it will be opening your heart. It's opening it whether you want it to open. I'm going to be honest with you. That's the way I'm seeing it. And you may as well, you may as well practice and learn because if it's going to be open, you're going to be feeling all of it, okay? That's why you're seeing so much emotion and all the change out there. Hit the heart is feeling this stuff. The emotions are there. That's good. That means we are moving in a direction of fifth dimension frequency because that had to open up first. Great. Now what? You know, now we practice living in that and not fighting against it. A lot of resistance, and you may not realize there's a lot of resistance in that, but there's a lot of resistance in, in receiving love, sending love. Yeah, I don't want to send it out there. It'll just hurt me again. No, nah, I don't want to trust that. You don't want to receive it. I mean, it's back and forth all over the place. And then at the same time, when I say back and forth, it's not going anywhere. It's just stuck in a cycle. That is pushing itself up and through you because it's trying to release and bring you up to a level where you don't have to live like that anymore. All you need to start with is a little intention that you really do want it to change. And if you don't, then you can stay in it. You can. I'm choosing not to. I really am. I'm, not choos- I'm choosing not to be in that. And, you know, I had to go through a phase where it's okay if people don't agree with me. This was way back I remember it's like, oh, you know, they're just going to get mad at me. Or I kind of grew up that way. They're going to get mad if I don't do it this way, or they're not going to like it. They're not going to approve. And I honestly had to get to a point where it felt like I didn't care. I didn't care what they thought. I had to do what was right. The more I went that way, the more it didn't feel so hard. That was a self-love I was giving myself so I could actually be uh, standing here talking to you right now. there was a time where, oh, no, I can't do that. They'll think I'm this and that. Well, you know what? If if this is crazy, then I'll take more of this because this is much happier, and this is a way that I want to live my life. I'm healthier physically. Uh, my energy is fantastic. My perspectives are positive. I want that for you. I want to share that for you. Uh, when it was the other way, trying to please and stay conforming to everything that the way it was, that's when I had more physical problems. That was when I had more sadness. That was when I was unhappy and restless. We're all not supposed to be exactly the same. We're expressions that are supposed to be unique in each one of us. And at the same time, we come from the same energy. We all have that connection, but we all have unique expressions that shouldn't be suppressed. They shouldn't be punished. They shouldn't be not allowed. They should be expressed. And you're seeing a lot of that getting sorted out right now is the way it looks. And they constantly, I constantly go, what can I say to help people keep their chin up to not give up? to get through this. And they tell me, look at your traditions. It brings me back to that. Look at the traditions. What can you do differently? What could you do and not expect? I mean, if we're expecting it, it has to be this way or it's ruined. That's a tradition. What part of your life are you feeling that the most in? Okay. What part, what is doing that to you? 
That's what you might need to look at. Um, well, not might. I would say definitely. What's going on? If you feel like, how come love never comes to find me, you know, in a personal relationship? How come it never works out? What are you expecting? What are you expecting? Michael says, you know, he's here and he's ready to help you release all of those things, all those old beliefs, all those old traditions, all of those old habits, you name it. He's here ready to help you change it up, change where you want to go with that. Like, give that up. Let it go. It's like cleaning out the closet. You haven't used that for years or what are you keeping it for? If you thought about all those emotions, like your closet with all the stuff, why am I keeping that? I don't use it. And every time I do, it just makes a mess. That's really going to be what you want to do this month. I mean, we really have been doing it, and we've been trying to do that gradually. But this month wants to bring in creative ideas and opportunities to help you do it. It wants to bring in the love and show you, hey, there's a better way. And if you give that a shot, the love you're looking for in that area of life can now flow in because now you've unclogged the drain. You've gotten the obstacle out of the way. That's what we're talking about. And I love, love, love this topic. This is going to be, and it's interesting because what I'm seeing is life can be a lot easier than we've made it to be. And why does it have to be so complicated, right? Why does it have to be so complicated? It doesn't. It doesn't have to be complicated in a fifth dimension lifestyle. It does not. A lot of people are finding that they're reducing down the details, and that's helped them. That may not work for you, but some people are doing that. They're just like, I don't need all this. I just need it to be more simplified. They seem to be some of the happiest people I have uh, spoken to, uh, experienced. They love life being simpler. They said they have more energy for the things they want to bring into their life that way. Um, that's a That one has been the biggest one that I've gotten a response from where people have really made that turn, and I'm just sharing that. So you can look into that and see if that would help you. One of the biggest things in making a turn, now opportunities want to come in with this energy for February, but where can you put something down so you can make room for it? That's what we're talking about. We need to take a short break. When we come back, we'll keep pairing on with angel messages for February of 2017. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break. Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. Dr. Brie Gibbs is a fourth-generation high priestess with the knowledge to raise your vibration in conscious creation. Offering a wide variety of services from goddess light and shamanic healing seminars to private reading sessions, Brie works with you so you too can stand in your own power. Isn't it about time you took your life into your own hands? For more information about Brie's services and products, visit silvergaia.net. That's silver, G-A-I-A dot net. The 25th Annual Women of Wisdom Conference, Remember Who You Are, Honoring Ourselves, We Heal the World, is this February 16th through the 20th. WOW is calling for women to gather. This is the time for women to step into our power, support each other, share our stories, empower our dreams, and build leaders for our community and the next generation of women. Join us for life-changing, intimate workshops on diverse topics such as music, dance, art, sexuality, relationships, healing, goddess wisdom, life purpose, and more. Join us and be witnessed, valued, and inspired to discover your purpose and share your stories. WOW is one of the longest-running women's spirituality conferences in the world. 
you can register for individual events or enjoy the whole weekend. This February 16th through the 20th, visit womenofwisdom.org. Do you want to relax more, feel happier, and be more confident? Do you want to have more success in your life? Dave Dodge has some easy, effective methods to help you release your anxiety, worry, fear, depression, and even physical pain. Tune in to Stress Buster Radio with Dave Dodge every second Tuesday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. For more information on how Dave can help you release your stress, visit StressBusterRadio.com. Skype and phone sessions are available. Tune in to Dynamics of Diversity Radio, scripting the new narrative for immigration with leading experts, Kripa Upadya and Steve Tanijo on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This show will remove the noise that often accompanies discussions on this topic and share a new perspective on the dynamics of immigration and diversity, ever reminding us that together we are all at the core of innovation, excellence, and positive change. Visit OrbitLawPLLC.com for upcoming topics. And we are back. We are talking about angel guidance for February of 2017. And I have a few little points that I want to share with you. So if you're just tuning in, I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to the Jen Royster Show, or you can watch our video live stream. You can check it out at jenroyster.com. Now, here we go. First of all, there's a lot of fire energy, okay? There are a lot of fire energy with Michael. Michael came in specifically for this month, and I love it because he's here to like, okay, let's get this closet cleaned out. Let's rock and roll. I mean, his energy is like, let's go get it done. And I'm thinking, ooh, you know, just how do you not move when you feel that around you? And I've been feeling that. Now, what he's saying is, Get serious about looking and into what you can change up or let go or get rid of with the traditions or what you always expect it to be a certain way. There's your thing right there. We talked about that. Because, and I will help you. This is what he says. I will help you release this. Just call on me. You have to ask. Angels don't interfere with free will, but he's here to help you lighten the load. If you're, if it feels heavy, you know, or like, oh, I can't, I'm sluggish, and like, you know, you just can't get motivated, He trust me, he can motivate you. He really can. He just has to be around a little bit, and you will feel a fire warm up inside you. The energy is very fiery, and fiery is, is good. It can transmute old things, get rid of it. It can also get you motivated and move. It's a moving, proactive energy, okay? February has a lot of proactive energy that is just like wanting to come in, and I love that. The creativity is to help you find new things to replace what you're getting rid of. Let's update. Let's let's redecorate, so to speak. Think of it that way. Let's let's upgrade some stuff. You know, inside you, your mindset, your approach to things, maybe your perspective. Um, if it helps, do something in your physical environment that helps get you motivated and lifted, maybe it's just a new plant or something different, a new color, anything. Uh, you don't have to do that, but some people, that's what will help them if they do something in the physical world. Clean out that closet that needs it because when you do that, it helps the energy on the inside, whatever it takes to get you mo- moving. Michael says, just, I will give you an idea. Go with it. Just go with it. Give it a try. What have you got to lose? Are you going to stay the way you are? That's the option, the other option, right? Who wants that? So why not give it a try? It's like a go for it month. It really is. Go for it. So here we go. Now, if you are looking for love to come into your life and you've been waiting for that special someone, yeah, that energy is here too. Hello, everybody that's looking for that. Same thing applies to you. You got to move some stuff out. You got to move some of the perspectives out. You've got to change up what you're expecting. Don't look at it as being a certain person. Look at it as this is what I want in a relationship, not the person, not the individual. If you may have a fixation on somebody, but what is it that you truly want in a relationship? 
Michael's here to help you get, get real with that, get serious with that, okay? Because happiness is going to be with the right alignment in your frequency. So if there's not a match, there's not a match. And if that's not really meant to be, it's not going to be. But if you are meant to have love come into your life, if you are proactive, like I've been talking about in some of the things that seem to be stuck or weighing you down, this is a good opportunity for things to start moving in that direction for you. So think about that. That's a big deal. Now, the other thing that that he was bringing up was opportunities. This includes business opportunities. This includes um you know, all kinds of stuff coming up, okay? I mean, you name it, it doesn't really matter. What I'm seeing is it's like the sky's the limit. If you were to clear up and move out what you need in that area of life, there's opportunities that want to flow in. It includes business. It includes relationships, personal, romantic. It includes everything about how you feel about yourself. This is really a go-getter month with a lot of fire energy. And exciting new opportunities are just wanting to come in. It was across the board no matter what I did and changed it up. I even pulled cards out. Everything was the same message. So I double-checked it and double-checked it because I was like, wow, that just seems like a lot all in one little short month because February, what, is the shortest month? So it's like get in the ring and go, 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 go. So um, I found that to be probably the most intriguing of everything that I've seen. Um, and it's all being this fiery energy coming in is infused with love. It's coming from a high divine love that wants to come in and shower all of us in, in a wonderful experience. The one we've always wanted, but we have to let go of, all those lower frequencies. It's not going to happen if you want to hang on to that. It's not going to happen if you want to cling to, I don't know, I'm envious because they got more than me or, you know, the, some, of the, some of the obvious, right? You've got to look for some of that stuff you may not realize that's happening from you. And this is going to be moving into a direction of making decisions with your heart and your passion and emotions, keeping logic in place but not from the mind because if you, you can make them from the mind and all that, but you're probably not going to be happy. If that, if you're already unhappy and you keep going down that look like, no, that's just not logical for me to do that. Well, you can do that. You can stay in it, but honestly, this is kind of a go for it and give it a try because, and it seems to be for everybody. Um, nobody is really being, you know, left out of this one. That's the one thing I keep getting. Nobody's being left out. It's it's for everybody. It really is for everybody. So I want everybody to think about this because, and he started off this whole show with, look at the traditional, what you're expecting. Look at what's your traditions, where you've always done it, what you've always been, what you've always said how you've always responded, or what disappoints you in life. If you get excited about something and then it doesn't go that way, it keeps bringing me back to that. So it obviously is a very important point to make. I asked him if I asked for clarity in the break, like you keep bringing me back to that, but, but what, is the, what is the point? And he said, that's where they're going to discover that special place for them. That's where they're going to discover what they can do different. That's where it's going to make a crack in that brick of a wall that's up around their heart so we can bring in other opportunities so they have some choices. Flat out, that's what he said. I'm like, okay, wow. So, guys, you know, we're not even into the spring cleaning, but it kind of feels like spring clean now, but it's, it's like, just clean it up, get rid of it, get it out of the way. And most of it has to do with what we hold deep inside. Now, with the emotions coming up, and I see we have a caller. I'll bring the caller on when we come back from break because I don't have enough time right now. So I just want to acknowledge that. Um, when you have 
all of those lower emotions, the anger, the frustration, the control issues, the I don't like change or, you know, the pessimistic or you're berating yourself because you can't let something go. Now, I'm going to address that, too. If you are berating yourself because you can't let go of anger, you got to stop. That's, that's not the way to this. That's not the way. It's actually the opposite. You need to just give yourself a little bit of a, okay, I understand you feel that way right now. So kind of like calm it down because that's not going to help one bit. The other thing he, want me, he wants me to bring up, and I'll bring it up quickly before we go to break, is, um, and this one's interesting, it's about eating. And I want to bring it up, and it's about eating too much or eating or not eating enough. He wants me to address people that are having a little bit of issue with eating, I don't want to say disorders, it doesn't even have to be. Maybe all of a sudden you've just got this thing going on. If you're having a crazy craving, look up the nutrients to that food or what in the world your body needs. And it's off the chart. If you're not eating at all, if your digestive has changed, your frequencies are trying to recalibrate and balance, okay? If you can't eat very much, make sure it's nutritious what you do eat. Make sure. Make sure you're supporting your immune system. If you're eating way too much, make sure, again, that that's nutritious. It needs to be nutritious. It needs to support you. And the weird thing is, and I can't, I can't be, you know, vouching for this for sure, because this one's kind of weird to wrap my brain around as well, is as long as it's nutritious, don't worry about the weight issue right now because your body is busy. A calibrating to new frequencies that are just flowing into your life. If you're having weird responses like that physically, then you are in a state of spiritual awakening and you are shifting, okay? Take care of your health and take it seriously. So we've got to go to break. Wow. When we come back, I'll, if the caller is still there waiting, hang on, caller. When we come back, we will take the caller for the last segment Guys, we're talking about angel guidance, all kinds of information, and a lot of fire energy to get us motivated in the month of February. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break. What is a brilliant culture? And how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you design a culture that is authentic, innovative, and successful. Learn how to create change with Cultural Brilliance Radio, the DNA of organizational excellence at Claudette Rowley. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit ClaudetteRowley.com. The earth is an ever-changing being. Goddess Light, shamanic healer, Bree Gibbs, guides us through the ascending worlds and brings forth knowledge and truth. As a light creator, she is here to provide new information needed at this time in our evolution. Join Bree as she shares messages from guides, spirits, ascended masters, goddesses, and others. Tune in Tuesdays at 3 p.m. Pacific and Thursdays at 1 p.m. Pacific for the Silver Gaia Show and live the authentic life. Chris Stainis is a spiritual leader and healer and teaches a course on how you can transform your life through a meditation and healing system that will manifest your spirit's dreams. She manifested the Women of Wisdom Conference, the Women of Wisdom book, and this radio show. And she can show you how to change your life, too. Are you ready? Visit the website and contact her at VoicesOfWomenToday.com. That's VoicesOfWomenToday.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. There are so many resources out there for meditation. But did you know that Atana's Heart Earth Healing Meditation is available for you for free? 
Yes, that's right. You can receive this free healing meditation today from Atana Vadili. All you need to do is visit his website, atanamethod.com. That's A-T-A-A-N-A method.com. And sign up. You will receive your free meditation instantly. That's atanamethod.com. Tune in to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio to harness your connection with the universe to affect change for optimal success and happiness. Name one of the country's top psychics. Eve now brings her insights and gifts to this weekly hit call-in show. Joined by visionaries, leaders, and gifted others, but mostly you. Jot it down. Thursdays, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. And we're back for the last segment. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to the Jen Royster Show. We've been talking about the angel guidance for February of 2017. And we have a caller that's been waiting. So let's bring on the caller, Brian. Oh, yes, sir. Deborah from Missouri, come on in. You're on the Jen Royster Show. Hi. Hi, Jen. Well, hi, Deborah. Happy February. Yeah, thank you. I have this question. <laughs> I was listening to What's going to on with you? Show. What are we, what yeah, we got going on li- today? Okay. I was listening to your show, and you're talking about traditions and what you expect. Well, I had a situation, and I guess I'm asking you, the angels, if I'm not supposed to care anymore or exactly what you get. So um, I live away from my grandchildren. And um, mm-hmm. we had a new a new uh, baby girl, new daughter, granddaughter. And so I wasn't able to see her for three weeks because we, you know, to make her go there and stuff. Well, mm-hmm. my daughter-in-law's mother lives there, so she sees the grandchildren that, you know, all the grandchildren I have, well, of my sons all the time and the baby. And so we get there on a Friday night, and um, I'm holding the gra- my gr- grandbaby, which I hadn't seen yet, and um, she walks in, the mother-in-law. And mm-hmm. I didn't know it, but she had said some remark like, oh, look who's holding the baby, you know, scenario. And then when she left, she said, well, you're going to sit there and hold the baby all the time. And she left before I. she gave me a chance to say anything. Then mm-hmm. on Saturday, um, we're there, and my son and, and my um, husband are outside, and I'm in the house, and um, my daughter-in-law is feeding the baby and, you know, and all this stuff going on, and... Uh, the mother-in-law walks in again, and um, and I'm thinking, what is, you know, she can see, you know, the, the baby, which she has probably seen the baby, which I understand. She lives close, so I do understand that I've, you know, it's taken me right. a while to get over that. But um, my son even mentioned, why is she here again? You know, <laughs> and then... Um, on Sunday, they were having a big get-together with family and their side and everybody. So I I thought, okay, that's fine. I don't expect to hold my grandbaby because I understand. Because, you know, so um, she's there again in the family and neighbors. And as soon as she's holding the baby right away, and she hands it to a neighbor, you know, the baby. So I guess I'm just saying, am I just supposed to not care anymore? I said, you know what, what a great one to bring up because you're not probably the only family that has felt stuff like that, like crazy. I get that. Boy, do I get that. Mm-hmm. But anyway, here, let, let me, this is what I was picking up right away. And Michael's like, Michael, you know, he's been here so strong today. But here's the thing. It's not attaching you. You were attaching to her insecurity and you showing up, okay, it's, it's mm-hmm. more of her competition or more of her feeling that, you know, there's a threat here or I'm not going to have it all to my, you know, that kind of thing. 
if you play into that and absorb that and believe her perspective on it, that's why it would feel that way. And so it's kind of a yes to your question on, no, I don't really need to care about it. A better way to say it is don't attach to someone else's perspective of the situation because it's on her own insecurities that she's dealing with for that behavior and that reaction. Okay. Oh, getting like a super crazy pitch in my ear just now. And he's reemphasizing that to me as well. Michael's guy, you have your perspective. You go there with your intentions. And it's, it's not caring to attach to somebody else's insecurities or reactions to things because you're practicing your own responses in a different way. So traditionally, and I don't know if it would be a tradition, you're not expecting that when you go to see your grandchild. And I get that. I don't live near mine either, so I understand what that's like. When you go there, man, you really want to spend some time with them. Emotions being open this year and being sensitive to emotions, you're, le- you're learning that was an opportunity for you to learn, whoa, I got to make sure that I keep my heart open with all that love that I want to have with my family, but not get caught up in somebody else's insecurities or that energy coming at me, because that's what that was. It had nothing to do with you, had nothing to do with anybody except she just felt a little bit competitive, you know, and mm-hmm. and that's for her to sort out and deal with, but it's not even to bring up or waste any time on. Does that make sense? Don't waste any of your energy yes. trying to fix that. That's okay. what I'm getting from that's Michael. It. He said, you just go and you do your thing, and, and it's going to be a practicing of letting go of feeling someone else's issues. Does that make sense to you, Deborah? Right. Yes. Yeah. Letting go of feeling somebody else is what you said. Yeah. It's, it's, she's, it's her issue with the situation, the competitive, it sounds like it's a competitiveness, you know, and it happens, mm-hmm. you know, with it, it, people that have insecurities, you know, they'll just kind of feel like, wait, I've got to hang on to this. We got to compete for it. And you don't need to compete for love. Love is nothing to ever compete for. You can't compete for love. People try to all the time, but there is no competition for love because love is love. It's going to go through no matter what. So you don't have to worry about what her issues are about or about anything. Don't take them on as believing them. That's what happened. And it kind of, you know, you felt that because your heart is open. You went there to enjoy that joy. And it's learning how to be discerning and protect your heart, but keep it open. That's what you were in a situation to practice. Does that make sense? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So that was a really I, good I, one to share with everybody. On Thank you, because that's kind of a personal thing for your family. Mm-hmm. But thank you for sharing that, because that's a big deal. That happens in all kinds of scenarios. And not right. just, I mean, I've experienced it. I've even been on the side of feeling like that, too, and, I, you know, and, when I realized, wait a minute, I don't need to be competing with that. I don't need to worry about that. That was the best thing ever to do. Let that go. Okay. So you don't have that in your heart. So don't take on somebody else's belief. Um, you see what I'm saying? That was, it's kind of like you got caught in somebody else's environment and basically you want to shield to that. So next time you go to visit, just shield up and enjoy, but don't don't close your heart down. Just shield up so it'll keep all that stuff out of your out of your field. And with that, I gotta go. Boy, that was quick. Okay, guess we gotta thank go. You. Thank you for I appreciate <laughs> that one. Thank you for <laughs> thank you. Hang in there and congratulations on the new family growing. Well, thank you very much. All right, bye bye, Deborah. Wow. Yeah, I'm I'm glad she called in with that because that's a good example of some of the stuff we've been talking about. Love, love doesn't compete. Love is there. All you got to do is let it in. There is nothing to worry about anybody competing. If it's supposed to be there, it will be there, right? So, guys, thank you so much for listening. We've got to wrap it up. We are out of time. Uh, Thank you so much for tuning in and joining us. If you want to check out our video live streaming, it is at jenroyster.com, J-E-N-N-R-O-Y-S-T-E-R.com. And, you know, 
we're going to be here next week, so we'll see you next time here on the Jen Royster Show. Namaste. You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. Remember to tune in each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. If you've missed any part of this show or any other show, Visit www.jenroyster.com and transformationtalkradio.com.